Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. You're cooking with Gigi today and we're going to make a tomato tart today. And we're going to thaw the pastry out, put a little flour on a board, and then we're gonna roll the pastry. And then we're gonna transfer this over into a, a cookie sheet. Now, I, we, you can, this is a non-stick one, but it's not, because it is puff pastry, it's not gonna stick. We're gonna leave it just like this, how it is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and slice some tomatoes. These are great tomatoes all in season. I think, let's see, we'll start with two. And we're just gonna slice these. You can do, you can mix sizes, you can do little ones, big ones, um, whatever tomatoes you find that are in season. Next, we're going to take um, some pesto. Now, there's a few grocery stores like Whole Foods and a few other grocery stores that I really like the pesto they make. So I don't, again, take the time to make my pesto because it is time consuming. But if you like to do everything from scratch, feel free. So take some fresh pesto and then we're gonna take it over here. And we're just gonna rub this beautiful pesto all over our pastry. That's completely covered. This really gives it a really nice um, flavor with the tomatoes, but keeps it light and healthy. So I've rubbed that all over that, and this is easy as pie, literally. So we're gonna put the tomatoes. I'm gonna kind of layer the different shapes and sizes around um, on our sheet. You can top this with mozzarella, you can top it with salami. I'm gonna sprinkle a little um, fresh garlic. Let's see, let's put these here. A little fresh garlic, so to roast nicely on top. I'm gonna put that on it. I'm going to take some fresh basil and I'm going to julienne that up. So that when it comes out of the oven, we will place the basil on top. And then I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on it. That's ready for when it comes out. So let's do a little fresh ground pepper. Just a little bit of salt, depending on how salty your pesto is. And I do have some, you know what? I think I'm in the mood for a little onion on top. So I have some chopped onions over here. Let me grab those. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little of those to give a little sweetness. And then you can put mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. You can put, um, you know, again, any kind of cheese you want. I'm gonna do that. And I, I like to go a little bit to the edge with the cheese here. So when you roll it over and you eat the crust, it actually has a little bit of um, flavor. We're gonna take this and we're just going to fold the edges up. Super easy, it's not rocket science. It makes it really pretty. And mash it down so it doesn't open up when you're cooking. A lot of times, especially, and you'll see other techniques when I'm using a puff pastry, if I'm making a pie, I would actually wedge a little bit of tin foil around it to hold the edges down, but I'm not really worried in this case that the juices are gonna flow out. So we're gonna just now put this in the oven. We're gonna bake it at uh, 400 degrees until it's a nice golden brown. 